season, the interim coach last year of the Raiders, 6-13 and 13 overall, Norv Turner, his team 3-3, three and three. and in the last two years, the Chargers are 11-11 and 11 in the regular season. Jonathan Holland circles under it at the 6. And he's got a hole up the middle and was one step shy of taking that one long distance. And Tuan Kaysen made the tackle. and he must not turn the ball over. Coach, Tom Cable said it was by far his best week of practice, Russell, this week. This is Michael Bush and the former Louisville star for about four. Jacques Césaire makes the tackle. for Bush on first down and right back to Michael Bush same side and he's got a first down and more out to the 39 yard line before Sean Merriman can make the stop. Vargas now in it running back and the throw is the tight end Miller tackled immediately as coming up was Ellison the rookie to make the stop. But now we're seeing that the uh, Raider attack is a smart one to start off with running left against the Chargers. The Chargers on this season have given up 137 yards per game uh, to their opponents on the ground and then the quick pass out to Zach Miller split out wide as a wide receiver get the uh, big tight end rolling early. Second and five for Jamarcus Russell and the Raider offense. Farkas stays in at running back. Charges crowd the line. The give is to Fargus right up the middle and he's to the 50 yard line and another Raider first down and this was just the way Cable had it planned stay in the ground pound away at a defense that has been generous all season trying to stop the run and especially early in ball games the Chargers defense has had problems with each of their opponents this season it appears in the first quarter stopping the run so this is a solid game plan so far for the Raiders Raiders with only three rushing touchdowns this season. Of course, their biggest scoring game was against the Chargers in the opener when they got 20 but lost 24 20. Russell's first throw, plenty of time deep down the middle, and it's intercepted right into the arms of Antonio Cromarty. And here he comes, ever dangerous in the open field. Gets a block. And finally cut down at the 41 yard line. There it is. First throw, first mistake for Jamarcus Russell. Russell's ninth interception of the season. He's also lost five fumbles. That's an NFL high. Bad start after a couple of first downs on the ground. His first pass picked off by Cromarty. Cromarty's first of the season. Rivers on first down, rolling and looking. And he's going long, long downfield for Floyd. What a catch! Oh my! A jump ball, and Floyd at 6'5 leaps higher, and with those huge hands of his, rips it down. And Rivers threw it 65 yards in the air. Michael Huff was not fooled by the stop and go, but he just couldn't get up high enough. Boy, if that doesn't look like the old R.C. Owens alley-oop, I don't know what does. Y.A. Tittle to Owens for a big play. <laughs> this time, it's Rivers to Floyd. The Chargers have been vacant on the opening drive. Here's Tomlinson uh, in a wildcat formation. He takes the snap, runs it off guard, and Tomlinson for a touchdown. 
Oh, what a start for San Diego. That ends a string of 22 straight games without scoring a touchdown on their opening chance. And they did it in a hurry. Didn't waste any time to get the bomb and then the trick play. North Turner said, when you asked him, Dick, if we were going to see any of the Wildcat, he said, yes, we will, and you will see it early. How about second play of the game? So a 53-yard bomb to Malcolm Floyd, and then Tomlinson hardly touched as he runs it in from five yards out. A startling beginning for San Diego to the delight of this sellout at Qualcomm and the extra point by Kading. A look back across to the city of San Diego from Coronado Island. Kading tees it up, and here's Holland. Drifting to the three. And tackled across the 20 yard line. Tackle made uh, by Mike Tolbert, the fullback. That's his second touchdown rushing this season. His first one, of course, came against the Raiders on Monday night to open the season. So Jamarcus Russell uh, has to be a bit unnerved. So the Chargers start with an interception and two plays later a touchdown six yard run by LT and it's if, if things weren't tough enough Tom Cable uh, wakes up this morning and there's an ESPN special that features uh, women of his past wife and girlfriend saying that he physically and uh, verbally was abusive uh, the alleged comments from them and of course he. Uh, Went through the whole summer training period after a broken jaw and an altercation in the coaches' meeting, but that the Napa County District Attorney's Office uh, did not pursue charges. And on the next play, false start for the Raiders. Five yard penalty, first down. Looks like Khalif Barnes starting early. Obviously, the Raiders were going to run to the right, right side, and that's why Barnes got off early. But you just wonder about this start having to call a timeout. You go over to the sidelines, you come back with the play, and now you're offsides, backed up inside the 20-yard line. Horrible start for Oakland. Michael Bush with Luke Lawton. Bush. He's got a lot of weight to it. He gets it headed upfield, 245. Bush, leading rusher, 204 yards. Let's go back to the interception. Here's Zach Miller and safety. That's Kevin Ellison. Kevin Ellison with a little sleight of hand here. He will grab Miller here. That slows him down. But what I don't know is where was uh, Mark Russell throwing that ball because Lewis Murphy was also in the area. And the uh, delay by Ellison on Miller resulted in Cromarty's interception. Cromarty's first of the season. Bush gets uh, seven yards on the carry. Second and eight. Into the flat, complete to the rookie tight end Brandon Myers, and he's tripped up across the 25 yard line. That's Myers' first NFL catch. And Russell, two for three, both completions on short passes, and you can see why he's had trouble with the long pass, and that's really the reason why he was drafted number one overall by the Raiders because of his strong arm. And that's also why Darius Hayward Bay was drafted because of his great speed. It's been the Raider tradition of LaMonica to Warren Wells, of Plunkett to Cliff Branch, strong arm quarterbacks with fast wide receivers. And that's what Al Davis has drafted for here, but it hasn't materialized. Third and four. Russell lobs this one downfield and over the head of the tight end Miller, and it's three and out. Tried to feather the throw over the defense, but strong arm Russell uh, too heavy with that toss. You can see number 80 with the free release, and he is open on the corner route. Russell with bad mechanics there was never really set his feet. And again, when you've got a strong, strong arm like that, sometimes it's hard to put that feathery touch on the pass. Sproles back, but here is arguably the greatest kicker in the history of the game, Shane Leckler, averaging a 47.1 career yards per punt. No one's ever been that good. Sproles can't get away from Tyvon Branch, the starting safety. Set up shop at their own 29. Tomlinson into the teeth of the Raider defense for about four. Tommy Kelly gets his 300 pounds on LT.
He doesn't want to give them any hope today. He wants to step on their throat, if you will, early. I think he's done exactly that. Tough at home starting. He's 23 and 7. Throw deep down the sidelines. Incomplete. A flag goes down. Floyd, the intended target, Chris Johnson, with either a hold or interference. It could have been one of those arm bars where the defensive back sticks out his arm and tries to keep the receiver from getting to the ball. That it's going to be against the Raiders. Part of the pass, illegal contact, defense, number 37. Five yard penalty, automatic, first down. Terry McCauley with a call. The penalty flag thrown before the pass was delivered, so it's the five yard illegal contact. And the contact happened about six to seven yards down the field. That's two, one to two yards too far. Heck of an effort by Floyd trying to reel that one in. He figures he's going to catch everything. Wanted to be a nurse, Wyoming, a undrafted free agent. Tomlinson does get around the corner and skips out of bounds. Not quite uh, the distance for a first down. Nick Hardwick, the starting center, injured in game one against the Raiders. Still on the sidelines, but he started to at least jog at practice. They're hoping to get him back in December. Sproles out of the backfield in motion. Quick throw slant underneath, wide open is Floyd. And he's having a field day. First down at the Oakland 47 between Chris Johnson and Michael Huff. Now Johnson has been bothered by a sore groin, and that's a tough injury for a defensive back because he needs his lateral movement. You can see the quickness of Floyd getting inside, and, and Johnson just couldn't react in time to uh, prevent this slant route and another first down for San Diego. But interesting, when Sproles went in motion, uh, linebacker Kirk Morrison went with him. That's a matchup San Diego would love to have all day long. Sproles on a linebacker. LT back in, first down at the Raider 47. Midway through the opening quarter, and not much there at all for Tomlinson against this uh, Oakland defense. So far, it's been Floyd working on Johnson on the other side. Rivers, good protection. Throwing deep. And Antonio Gates, well covered. Double team. Yeah, that was just great coverage by Thomas Howard and safety Michael Huff. Rivers just saw the double coverage here on the outside. You can see the underneath coverage by Tyvon Branch. And then here comes Huff over. And Rivers smartly just threw that ball out of bounds. But... Uh, Raiders know that number 85 is very dangerous. That time the Chargers trying to get him way down the field on the corner route. Third and long at the 46. Sproles joins Rivers in the shotgun. Rivers to the sidelines. Back shoulder pass incomplete. Intended for Floyd again, and the flag is down. Coverage by Chris Johnson. It, this might be an illegal block. Chop block, yep, on uh, Darren Sproles. Helping out on the pass First protection. Foul, chop block. Offense number 73. Penalties decline. Fourth down. Marcus McNeil, the left tackle, ticketed. Yeah, I'm not so sure it's on McNeil. I think it's on the little big man, Darren Sproles. There he is right here. And McNeil is the tackle here. Well, I tell you what, that's a very iffy call on Marcus McNeil. That looked like a good block. So in to punt Mike Cyphers. And if you like punting, they got two out. That one was touched almost uh, completely blocked. It's going to work out as a pretty good kick that hits a Raider downfield at the 10 yard line. That's where it will be spotted. A near block by the Raiders. Yeah, midway through the first quarter, charges on top 7 0. 
Sam Williams gets his hands on this punt, and then he'll run into Mike Cyphers. You can see the referee, Terry McCauley, saying because it was tipped, there is no roughing the punter. Kind of the way things are going for the Raiders this season. Get a good play, but the ball still rolls. So from the 11, Russell hands it off to Fargus, and he has four yards on first down. So even though the ball almost blocked, and that could have been a big play, the one that the Raiders have been searching for desperately, instead it rolls downfield all the way to the 11-yard line and the 35-yard punt for Cypher. Yeah, further proof of the game of inches. If he gets his whole hand on the ball, the ball goes the other direction, and the Raiders have a good chance of scooping it and scoring with it. Vargas. Played his first three years, University of Michigan, then uh, transferred to Southern California for his senior season. He gets the handoff again. And he's toppled after a yard and a half by Stephen Cooper, the undrafted linebacker from Maine, once again leading the Chargers in tackles. Yeah, 53 now from his uh, linebacker spot. And a pretty good combination now inside for San Diego with Tim Dobbins taking over for the injured, injured Kevin Burnett. Dobbins had a huge game last week against Kansas City. And now Cooper gets in on the action as the Raiders get nothing on their first two running plays. And third and five, we'll see if defensive coordinator Ron Rivera brings up a blitz against Russell. No, and it's a hand off to Fargus inside. Nothing there at all. So another three and out for the Oakland Raiders. And another very conservative call on third and five. John Merriman gets in on the tackle that time for San Diego. And if you let Merriman get all fired up, he has a way of firing up the entire team. And right now, San Diego, offense and defense, playing very, very well. Leckler has the whole field to kick to. But you know, that just gives Sproles some opportunities with those bombs that Leckler hits. Of course, both Sproles is all the way back to the Charger 30. And there's a driving boot right to him at the 28. He has some room to run. Skids across the 35 to the 37. Good coverage by the Raiders. Second to first down at the 37 yard line. Third possession for the Chargers, leading 7 0 with 441 left in the opening quarter. Tomlinson at tailback. And nothing to the right side except John Alston, the linebacker. Invaded the backfield and deposits Tomlinson for a loss. Manu Maliuna, the big tight end who's used often as a fullback. Full start, so another minus five for San Diego. Takes the ball back to the 28. And this will give life to this Raider defense. Good job on first down. Stringing LT out to the sidelines and dropping him for a loss. And then the Chargers create the big mistake on second down. Second and 19 now staring at Rivers. Two six five receivers to the left. He's looking left. And he throws left. Complete to Vincent Jackson. And Jackson gets 18 of the 19 yards. Yeah, it, it's one thing of being a tall receiver, but if you don't have the hands to go with that altitude, if you will, it's really defeats the purpose. Watch the hands of Jackson reaching way out to make this catch in traffic. Rivers absorbing a big hit there that time from Tommy Kelly. Third down and one. Tomlinson behind fullback Mike Tolbert. And it's Tolbert who gets the call and he has the first down throwing to the 49 yard line. Tolbert pretty good running back at Coastal Carolina. Picked up that first down with ease. Tomlinson. Tailback first down at the San Diego 49. Over the middle and it's intercepted. Picked off by Johnson. Chris Johnson at the 50. Back inside and tackled at the 43 yard line. Went off the hands of Jackson. The flag is down on the play. Flag after the interception. During return, personal foul, low block. Passing team number 63, 15-yard penalty, first down. So Scott Merchkowski playing at center, trying to defend, took out a blocker, and uh, he gets the chop block down low. So much for good hands. That's a fine pass by Rivers. 
Went off the hands of Vincent Jackson and heads up by Chris Johnson, the second interception of the year. Merchkowski trying to take out some of that interference right there and uh, trying to get the block on Richard Seymour. Gets a penalty and the Raiders in even better shape. Watch number 93, that's Tommy Kelly, but right here is Merchkowski, 63, taking out Richard Seymour. So you add the 15 and Jamarcus Russell and the Raiders in excellent field position now at the 27. Michael Bush the tailback. Fake to him. Russell over the middle complete to Bush who slipped through the line of scrimmage and he picks up about six before smothered by three blue shirts led by Stephen Cooper. And if you're looking for improvement from Jamarcus Russell that's an example of it. Going to his check down receivers, I'm sure he wanted, and all the Raider fans wanted him to go for the bomb there, try to get the ball in the end zone on the first play. It wasn't there. The Chargers had good coverage deep, but Russell found Bush for a good gain on first down. Chargers with an interception, and their first series led to a score, and now Chris Johnson's pick, and the Raiders hope to complement that with a touchdown and a tie. It's Bush who hit in the backfield by Sean Merriman as he charged in from an angle and Merriman playing a very spirited first quarter. Yeah, he's finally getting healthy too. You know, he had coming off the knee injury, missed most of last year, had groin and foot problems this year. Here he is on the outside. Actually, he's one man in from there, but showing that closing speed with Stephen Cooper to make the tackle. Crowd raises its voice on third and three at the 20. Fargus, the running back, behind uh, Luke Lawton. Fargus, he's got a hole and a first down. Oh, he just gives you your, the money's worth on every carry, Fargus. Dobbins with a tackle, first down, Raiders. Now he's not the biggest or the fastest, but he is the one guy that gives you everything he has. And he loves running between the tackles and making contact. He makes uh, Dobbins miss and pulls a couple of chargers forward for that first down inside the 15. This is a rare real estate for the Raiders. Only nine times have they been in the red zone this season. Back to Fargus. Another good hole, and he's inside the 10 yard line. Larry English and others in on the tackle. Final seconds of this opening quarter with the Chargers in front, seven to nothing. Beautiful shot of what they call uh, U.S.'s finest city, San Diego. Phil Rivers uh, betrayed by the hands of Jackson, turned into Chris Johnson's lap for an interception, and now from the line, here's a handoff to Fargus, barreling up the middle, and he's close to another first down at the three-yard line. You, you gotta love the speed with which Fargus hits the hole. I mean, he's going full speed. He's not looking for any uh, setting up any block as the Chargers down on the field. Tim Dobbins. Tim Dobbins, uh, the one guy the Chargers. Counting on it's one of those middle linebackers. In the circle is uh, Tim Dobbins, and he's going to get blocked by fullback Luke Lawton. And as he is blocked and stood up, good block by Lawton, one of the Raiders uh, coming over and falls on his leg. Mario Henderson, the left tackle, and uh, that appears to be a, a leg injury by. And watch number 75. This just happens in football. Everybody's trying hard, trying to make a play, trying to make a block, trying to get into the end zone. Just an unfortunate for Tim Dobbins that uh, he gets rolled up on by Mario Henderson, a 300 pounder. And as you can imagine from what we've seen, that evidence uh, serious enough that Dobbins will be carted back to the locker room for x rays. The guy that's. Uh, he would, we wanted to interview him, the press here in San Diego as well, after an 11 tackle, one interception game, his best ever at Kansas City a week ago. He said, I'm just a backup. You talk to the starters. When I become a full time starter, then I'll talk to you. He refuses to converse with the media. And uh, after that great game in Kansas City and playing well in the first quarter today, injured and taken back to the x ray machine. And now you got to wonder who fills in for him. Brandon Seiler, the third-year pro out of Florida, 
So the Chargers without Kevin Burnett, and now they lose Tim Dobbins, are down to just two inside linebackers. They and the Raiders, it. excuse me, Dick, the Raiders know that. They're going to keep pounding and pounding the middle of that Charger defense. They just missed the first down on that second Fargus carry. It's third and inches just inside the four. Fargus stays in. And the sneak by Jamarcus Russell. And with his size, 6'6 and 260, Seiler came up to meet him, but it appeared that uh, Russell had leaned first forward to the first down. It is first and goal for the Raiders, and there's some representation of the Raider Nation here in San Diego today as you hear a cheer from sections of Qualcomm. That's a real smart play call, too, by Tom Cable. As you said, I mean, there's no quarterback bigger in the league than Jamarcus Russell. And needing just inches, he got it with ease. First and goal. Two receivers to the left. And now Lewis Murphy, the rookie in motion, and it's Fargus. He barrels his way to the goal line, and it's a touchdown, Raiders. Of course, the Raiders, when they were in Los Angeles for almost a decade, to build a big fan base. A lot of those from down in the San Diego area, you can hear them cheer. Yeah, they went right after Brandon Seiler. Cooper Carlisle, the best offensive lineman at right guard, went out and just smothered Seiler, and Fargus got in. First rushing touchdown of the year for Justin Fargus. Janikowski for the extra point. Incredible November Sunday here in San Diego. 7-7, this battle, the hundredth time. These two old AFL opponents 50 years ago first met. Janikowski delivers that one yard deep. Sproles looks for a crease. Runs under his own blockers and tripped up across the 20-yard line. Down in Mission Valley. Raiders scoring 135 minutes. That works out to nine straight quarters without a touchdown. That drought ends. And Fargus's three-yard drive into the end zone. Tomlinson cutting back and no hole there. Matt Shaughnessy, the rookie from Wisconsin, playing a defensive tackle on LT's back. That Raider drive was just a 27-yard drive. They of the seven plays they ran, six of them were runs, four by Fargus, 19 yards, and the touchdown. So you can see, especially now with the injury to Dobbins, it's questionable if he will return. The Raiders may have found something. Many use the stocking cap in 80 degree weather. It's become popular <laughs> items back in the Midwest and East. Yeah, but it's cool. Underneath, complete. And it's Jackson, just a short gainer, immediately hit by Namdi Asamoa, a brilliant cornerback, and just as delightful an athlete with whom to converse as we've ever met in many, many years. He's, he's bright, he's handsome, he's uh, generous, takes kids from Oakland, as you know, back to the cities in the East, visits major universities, sophomores, juniors in high school to inspire them to go on for a college education. He just is uh, high quality. Third and long, shotgun with Sproles, Rivers. Here comes the pressure, the throw down the middle, caught by Jackson. So after he lost a ball off his fingertips for the interception, he comes back with a couple of tough catches. Yeah, was there any doubt that the Rivers wouldn't go back to Jackson? It's because of ability like this. Stanford route is number 26. Great little out and up move. That loses route, and then Jackson showing his good hands this time with the catch out to the 45. As you can see, three receptions, 41 yards, 20 yards on that play, and a first down out at the 45. Set a San Diego record uh, last week against the Chiefs. Look at Sproles darting into the secondary. He's got another first down at the 44 of Oakland. First down, 44. Tied at seven. 11 minutes to go from staff here in San Diego. And Tomlinson hit the blockade, tried to get outside, but Matt Shaughnessy, the third round draft pick out of Wisconsin, makes another good play at his defensive tackle position. This offensive line of the Chargers really coming together the last couple of weeks. Vasquez is healthy now at right guard. 
Murchkowski has done a solid job filling in for Nick Hardwick. And you can see that the pass protection against the Raiders so far in this first half has been flawless. Rivers back to the shotgun. He's got Chris Chambers and Jackson to the right and sends LT into the left flat. Steps up, throws over the middle, and a diving catch by Jackson. Ball was rolled down at the 28 yard line. Boy, he's been reaching out and up, and now he goes and digs for a catch. I guess he's forgiven for the interception. Let's see if he makes this catch. Both hands underneath the ball, lifts the ball to his body. That's a great catch by Vincent Jackson. You know, you make a mistake and you come right back. Your quarterback doesn't give up on you, and this is the reward you get. 14 more yards for Jackson and the Chargers. First down at the 29 yard line. Look at the way Driss is crowding the box. And they're looking for LT. And Tomlinson, a tough four yards off the left side. Kelly and Morrison team up on the tackle. Been a pretty good drive for the uh, San Diego Chargers, answering the Raiders' touchdown drive. And this is uh, the arches are the passes, the straight lines are the runs. You can see the big passes to Jackson. All three of those were Jackson receptions. Good spot for LT on the first down carry, second and four. Back to Tomlinson. Can he get outside? No. Trapped in the backfield again. That has not worked. He's not been able to go wide as Shaughnessy again playing more and more this rookie makes a solid play. He's had quite a half. Yeah, here he is right here. Number 77 working against tight end Antonio Gates and that's a mismatch in Shaughnessy's favor. And LT, you know, if people say has he lost or anything. Well, any running back would look bad without it blocking. So of the six yards Thomason gained on first down, he loses five on seconds, brings up third and nine. Sproles. I'd like to use him out wide and isolate him if possible on the linebacker and said it's Antonio Gates. No, Jackson again. Jackson slashing inside, and he has been the man. What a collaboration. Rivers to Jackson all the way down the field. Now they're spreading the entire field. These are just, just too many weapons. Here's one wide receiver. There's Jackson. There's Name inside. Remember, Sproles is all the way to the bottom of the screen, split out wide. He took Michael Huff with him, so there's no underneath coverage by the linebackers. It's just easy picking for Rivers and Jackson. 14 on that play, five for 69, Sproles, and uh, he finds no room to run. Thomas Howard, the linebacker from UTEP, son of uh, Thomas Sr., was an All-American at Texas Tech and played with Kansas City and the St. Louis Cardinals in the league, and Howard can run as well as uh, any of the quick linebackers in the league. And Phillips Rivers is just torrid. 7 of 10 for 133. Remember, the one interception should have been a completion. 11th play of the drive. Ball rests at the 13 of the Raiders. Scroll stays in. Rivers into the flat. Wide open, Nane. Third and a tough four at the 8-yard line. Empty backfield. Rivers has him spread out. Looks, throws, wide open Jackson. That's the way it was supposed to be, apparently. He did all the work all the way down the field. How can you be that wide open? Five catches on one drive. We just talked about his first half against Kansas City when he had five for 142. Yeah, I think this is wide open, Dick. Right side of the screen, ain't nobody in silver and black near number 83. Eight yards on the touchdown, Rivers to Jackson. Jackson's fifth score of the year, leading the Chargers on the extra point by Katie. Vincent Jackson with an easy touchdown. Stanford route is on the corner blitz, and he's got to run about 20 yards to get to Rivers, but nobody picks up 83. 
Here's Route 26, and he's just still 10 yards from Rivers as Rivers reads the blitz and burns the blitz with the easy touchdown pass to Vincent Jackson. What a drive for that man. Quite a partnership as Rivers goes six for six on the drive, five of the completions to Jackson, 64 yards total. And the drive was 78 yards in 12 plays, took a half a quarter, seven and a half minutes. There's a delay on the game because they got to get the K ball out for the kicker. Each uh, kicking ball has a special label on it so that the kickers can't have one of those soft helium filled balls. And of course, uh, the muscle man, there's the K on the ball, as you can see right there. Special ball for the kickers. <laughs> Did you have key for passing when you? <laughs> I hope it's for passing. Kading sends it high and spins it inside the five to Jonathan Holland, the former Louisiana Tech star. And he gets it to the 25 yard line and runs into Mike Tolbert again. And Tolbert growing as a star on special teams. Uh, the beauty of being a Raider fan every day is Halloween. Uh, they got uh, great loyalty, the Raider fans around the country, and they're well represented at Qualcomm today. And that's not a mask. <laughs> I saw you chatting with him before the game. From the 25, the Raiders stay on the ground, and Michael Bush staggers out to the 28 yard line, a gain of three before Brandon Siler can trip him up. Yeah, it's amazing what a short drive of 27 yards will do for your football team. They struggled with just 11 plays in their first uh, three drives, but getting the interception by Chris Johnson and uh, running the ball. We'll see how well the Chargers respond now with uh, Tim Dobbins in the locker room with that knee injury. Bush stays in at tailback and back to Bush, tries the right side, drags the tackle across the 30. It'll be a Third and four. Credit rookie Larry English with a tackle, the number one pick of the Chargers from Northern Illinois. And this will be an interesting play selection by Tom Cable because it's a third and four. The last couple of times, the uh, Raiders have uh, elected to run the ball. Very conservative. That's a running play, so you can use your hands that way as a blocker, usually. On third and four, Russell in the shotgun. Russell with time. Big man scrambles and throws to the sideline incomplete. If you're a Raider fan, you've got to figure by that time somebody should be open. Yeah, it's inexperience on, on both ends of the passing system. You know, you've got a quarterback who's struggling and Marcus, Demarcus Russell, and then young wide receivers. Johnny Lee Higgins there, number 15, just in his third year against the linebacker, Siler, couldn't shake him down the sidelines. So on comes the thunderfoot of Shane Leckler with uh, Sproles way back inside the 25. Ooh, that was close to being hit by a charge. Look at this ball drives all the way to the two-yard line and bounces into the end zone for a touchback. After the touchback from the 20, Tomlinson lunges for a couple. Tommy Kelly there to wrap him up. And look who's back on the field, number 51, Tim Dobbins, after what looked like a catastrophic hit. Knee bent back, but it's on his feet. Yeah, they've got uh, another injury down. This is uh, a Raider now. This is Tommy Kelly. But you can see Dobbins did have a brace on that knee. And we got to worry about uh, Tommy Kelly here, number 93 for the Raiders. 4-11 left in this first half timeout in San Diego. And then as LT goes by, it uh, appeared to be some type of uh, shoulder injury as he hit the ground. Here's the matchup you might want, though. LT down at the bottom of the screen against the linebacker. Second and nine, the throw is underneath complete to Gates and the tight end. For the Chargers with a catch. And by moving LT first. outside like that and forcing uh, that time it was Thomas Howard, that opens up the middle for the tight end, Antonio Gates. So North Turner's game plan right now, 
creating mismatches, not necessarily taking advantage of them right away, but getting the other guys involved, like Jackson and this time Antonio Gates. Seven straight completions for Rivers in the passing formation, third and four. Wide open as Antonio Gates sprinting down the sidelines, out of bounds at the Raider 45. Once again, a receiver all alone. This time it's Antonio Gates with a, a uh, crossing route. And again, the pass protection is great. Here's Gates right here, number 85. And a mix up in the coverage. You can see it was a zone coverage by the linebackers, man to man by the defensive backs. And it's another huge play from the passing game of San Diego. Michael Huff, who plays very deep at safety, pushes him out of bounds, but not until Gates picks up 30 on the catch. River is 19 yards shy of 200 passing in the first half. And there is Lodenian Tomlinson sprinting for nearly 10. Tyvon Branch with a tackle. And these fans in San Diego with the investment they have in Ladanian Tomlinson and the rewards he's given them for his great career of now nine seasons, anything he does positive, they're ready to cheer loud and long. And especially against the silver and black. Just shy of the first down, a breather, and then Jacob Hester into the game. His first carry today has the first down on short yardage. San Diego leading by a touchdown. Rivers, eight for eight in the quarter. Nine for nine. Sproles on the screen. 30. Hit from behind. Tackle to the 25. A gain of eight. Shaughnessy, another tackle as he's racking up quite a list of hits here in the opening half. Fantastic hustle by Matt Shaughnessy. Because Sproles had one man to beat. He can't beat something he can't see. Shaughnessy came from behind to make the tackle. Raiders just do get a couple of substitutes off the field and it sprawls up the middle big hole sprawls all the way to the nine yard line. Tyvon Branch saved the touchdown. Now we talked about the quickness of Fargus hitting the hole. Watch the quickness of 43 hitting this gaping hole right in the middle of the Raider defense and sprawls with those great vision and quickness and full speed ahead. Fearless at 185, only five feet six inches tall. Now it's uh, Tomlinson for a touchdown. His second of the game. What therapy for LT? Bring on the Raiders. This pushes him over 12,000 yards in his Hall of Fame to be career. Sproles got him down there in an LT behind Chris Dealman and Marcus McNeil found a huge hole on the left side for the score. 80 yards, eight plays, 10 yards on the touchdown run by Tomlinson. Kading adds the extra point, and the Chargers build their lead to 21-7. 54 seconds remaining. First down the play. Chargers 21. Raiders 7. Tomlinson coming into this game with only one rushing touchdown for a man who has scored so many times on the ground in his career 127 times he gets two today great block here by Legadu Nane and the left tackle Marcus McNeil as Dealman will work to the inside Nane comes in clears out Stanford route and it's another walk in for LT. Not many times you'll get a great block from a wide receiver, but that's just a perfect screen. Nothing big and physical, just got in the way of route, and LT does the rest. He has 129th rushing touchdown in his fabulous career, second all time. Second to his idol, Emmett Smith, growing up as a Texas kid in Waco. His mom saved the money and saved the money so that he could go to summer camp of Emmett Smith. Katie down to Jonathan Holland, bobbles at the three. And tries the middle and has some running room. Gets back to the outside, only Katie to beat. He's trying to cut him off at the 50 and gets him out of bounds. 
by the shoulders at the 37 yard line. Great return by Jonathan Holland and the Raiders with 43 seconds left in the half have a chance to bark. And the Raiders have two timeouts to bark with. It's a really a great run by Holland. His previous long was just 31 yards, but it makes moves in traffic. But how about Kading with the angle, the speed, and just gets him down by the shoulder pad. Great return by Holland and a heck of a touchdown saving tackle by the kicker. Well, Kading was an all state in Iowa and soccer, basketball, and football. He showed his athleticism at least foot speed there to save a touchdown. Let's see if Jamarcus Russell and the Raiders can capitalize with 43 seconds left, two timeouts. Russell pumps, scrambles, throws to the sideline, open and complete to Darius Hayward Bay, the number one draft pick of the Raiders, his fifth catch of the season. Steve Gregory on the coverage. Hey, he doesn't get out of bounds. That causes the Raiders to use a timeout. Good effort by Darius Hayward Bay to try to get out of bounds, but he does not. And the Raiders taking their time, let about three seconds go off the clock before calling their second of three timeouts here in the first half. Another one of those rookie mistakes that Cable talked about. They're learning on the job with which to use as they try to nibble at that 21-7 lead. Fargus with Russell. First down at the 27. Comes a blitz. Merriman gets him. There's Sean Merriman's first sack of the season. And lights out. Finally, they get to see the celebration in San Diego. And finally, the Raiders call timeout. I mean, Russell's got to call timeout as soon as he's tackled. Working against Mar Mark Mario Henderson is Sean Merriman. Right here is Merriman. And he just overpowers and then keeps his eye on the prize. Jamarcus Russell steps up. Merriman cuts in and then starts to dance. Sean Phillips, the other sack master for San Diego, got his first two at Kansas City last week, and he said, now we got to get the big fellow one, meaning Sean Merriman. With Merriman's first of the entire season, it's interesting, uh, the two men, both in their career, each has 40 and a half sacks. So they're in a little intra-team competition. Janikowski, whose range is limitless, is uh, waiting for his turn possibly but the Raiders are looking for more 20 seconds to go but second and 13 no timeouts Russell throws to the sidelines uh, incomplete Lewis Murphy tried to scoop it but it bounced on a short hop and the pressure of the previous play caused this ball to come in short to Lewis Murphy Russell didn't step into the throw quite enough to get the ball all the way out it was close to being a reception, but clearly. it clearly bounced before it got to number 18. So they're going to ring out the field goal unit now with 15 seconds for an apparent field goal. When you're staggering here to score points, you always have to consider the fake. It's a 48-yard attempt. Chargers anticipating perhaps a fake have left their defense on the field. He hasn't missed this year. Nine for nine, Janikowski. This one has plenty of distance. What a kick. Janikowski, a perfect 10 for 10. And the Raiders, in the final minute of this opening half, able to get three on that drive thanks to the 60-yard kickoff return by Jonathan Holland. In September, oh, this is going to be painful, Dan. 78, Raiders Chargers, famous for the play known as the Holy Roller. <laughs> I really appreciate it, Dick. Uh, you know, if you make a rule the following year that you can't, purposely fumbled forward then maybe that should have been called an incomplete pass at the time do you you're, think that maybe still, yeah i'm still retroactive you still <laughs> <laughs> i can't help it come on that was pretty good theatrics though by the raiders to have the presence oh, to get away with it the snake bit us again didn't he and the kickoff now by janikowski to sproles deep in the end zone they'll take the touch back with only 11 seconds to go in the half. 
The Rivers will come out. We'll see whether or not they'll even take a serious. This Rivers against Green Bay two years ago and Dan Fouts against Cleveland in 1981. A kneel down for the final play of this opening half. Darren Sproles with three career kickoff return touchdowns and after the bobble he'll take a knee on the 20 yard line. Disappointed Darren but he'll get plenty of chances here in the second half. And there's a look at uh, the six possessions of uh, the Chargers in the opening half. Yeah, even the punt uh, by the Chargers, which was deflected by Sam Williams, rolled deep into Raider territory. So, pretty good first half for North Turner's Chargers. Philip Rivers uh, wearing that number 17. That was his father's number. Father Steve, a coach, and uh, the best man at his wedding. That's how close the uh, dad and son are. And it's Ludanian Tomlinson. And once you get outside that tackle hole as the flag flies, uh, the Chargers haven't uh, made much yardage at all. Holding offense, number 85, 10 yard pattern. Antonio down. Gates will move the Chargers back to the 10 yard line with that holding call on Tyvon Branch. Really a bad way to start the uh, opening drive of the second half. A 10 yard penalty pushes the Chargers back really close to their goal line at the 10 yard line now. And the Raiders can take advantage and get great field position for their initial drive of the second half. But first they've got to put pressure on Rivers in his passing game. Come out in a run formation. Rivers under center. And Ladanian Tomlinson. Oh, he bobbled the ball and almost fumbled it forward to three white jerseys as Kirk Morrison. Solid hit for the Raiders. The, yeah, the former Aztec really read that blitz, read that uh, running play well. Here he is, 52. Watch how quickly he hits the hole. Totally unblocked and slicing in there. And that's a great recovery by. Ladanian Tomlinson because this ball was out after the hit by Morrison. Lucky bounce for San Diego. Was that ever? No second and long, and Rivers now into the shotgun. First pass to the second half. He pumps and goes long, long, long downfield, incomplete to Jackson. And Jackson did have a step. Chris Johnson on the coverage for the Raiders. Boy. Protection good on this uh, long pass by Philip Rivers. Just a four man rush by the Raiders as the pump fake and then the launch. And it's about three yards too far for 83. As you can see, Tyvon Branch, strong safety coming over to help with Chris Johnson. So third down and long. And unless Rivers dials up something very special here, the Raiders are going to get great field position to start the second half. Throws deep downfield, incomplete. Tended for Floyd and good coverage as uh, Michael Huff came over to knock it away. Ball just slightly underthrown by Rivers. And good reaction by Huff as Floyd has to go down to the ground. And uh, the left hand of Huff, I think, might have distracted Floyd and caused the incompletion. Johnny Lee Higgins, a dangerous kick returner. Back at the 35 of the Raiders. Three punt return touchdowns last year. An Oakland season record. Gets away from the first two blue shirts and another and finally hit at the 43 yard line with a flag down. Chris Wilson the tight end made the tackle. Yeah, this will be against the Chargers. Illegal procedure probably be declined I would think. Illegal formation. Kicking team, number 54, not on the line of scrimmage. Five yard penalty added into the play. First down, timeout. And welcome back with our producer, Bob Bonsbach, and uh, Suzanne Smith, our director, to Kenberg, Dan Fouts, Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego, just starting the second half. First possession for Jamarcus Russell and the Raiders at the 47. The toss is to Fargus. And Fargus into Charger territory to the 46-yard line before Sean Merriman can bring him to the ground. 
You take a look at uh, what the Raiders did in the first half. They got their 10 points after the interception by Chris Johnson here, and then the three-point field goal by Janikowski after the great kickoff return of Jonathan Holland for 60 yards. Other than that, not too good. But this is great field position to start the second half for the Raiders. You see Fargus and Bush, the two running backs, uh, 63 of the total offense of the Raiders, and a good gain on first down of seven. And back to Fargus. And he's dropped uh, by Eric Weddle up from safety position, just shy of the first down. Third and one for the Oakland Raiders. Who lost a tough one to the Chargers to open the season 24 20, and since then, just not able to score. They did beat Kansas City 13 10 and Philadelphia 13 9, but then their other losses scored only a total four losses, 16 points. Third and short. Back to Fargus, and he plows for the first down. He moves the pile, whether there's a hole or not. That's three conversions now for the Raiders out of six tries on third down, and it's just full speed ahead from Justin Fargus hitting over the right side. And it's great to have a fullback cleaning the way for you, like Lawton. Number 44. That's a good call. Lawton at 240 pounds out of McNeese State. He's played with Buffalo, the Jets, Indianapolis, Philadelphia, now Oakland, and he can block. Now Michael Bush in as Russell throws over the middle, and it's complete to the tight end, Zach Miller. And finally, the Raiders find their top receiver, Miller, the tight end, who came into the game with 23 catches and a 16-yard average. That's his second of the game. And it's about time they throw it to him again. Remember, the first completion of the game was on a similar formation, a similar type of route, out to Zach Miller, split out wide as a wide receiver. Miller tight ends kind of confusing though. There are a lot of those around the league. There's two Zach Millers and a Heath Miller. They're all good. Yeah, the uh, other Zach is from Nebraska Omaha a rookie. And first down Bush. And he's hit hard an angle tackle and it's coming over to make the stop for uh, the Chargers Alfonso Boone. Helped out by Kevin Ellison. Ellison's uh, brother Keith is a linebacker with the Buffalo Bills, and he's breaking into some uh, more and more action. They just like his uh, instinctive nature against the run. That gives the Chargers a, a bigger safety at 220 pounds. Kevin Ellison, one of those great USC safeties. Only a yard gain on first down, so Bush stays in a tailback. Second and nine. Play action. Russell tried to scramble forward, brought down at the 31 by Sean Phillips. Is that uh, back to the line of scrimmage? If not, that's a sack for Phillips. It is. So Phillips and Merriman, uh, the two men who have haunted uh, opposing quarterbacks, each with a sack today. And you really got to bring it to bring down number two. And that's exactly what Phillips does. And he's, uh, he's throwing a strike there. That's a perfect 300 game on that sack. That's a tribute to his uh, grandmother, Jackie, who was a pro bowler at many 300 games. Chargers showing blitz, and here they come. Good blocking by the Raiders. Now Russell dumps it off into the flat, and it's complete to Fargus, and he's knocked out of bounds. Seiler replacing the injured Tim Dobbins. Dobbins down with the knee in the first half, although he's on the sidelines in uniform. And Seiler, the third-year backer from Florida, makes the play. Now you can see the blitz coming right here and then right in the middle, and the Raiders pick it all up. And they give Russell about five seconds. He smartly comes down to Fargus, but Fargus can't pick up the first down thanks to Brandon Seiler. So Janikowski, who kicked... A long one in the first half. This one will be 42 yards, maybe 41. Out of Luckler's hold, and Janikowski is perfect 11 for 11 on the season. And the roller coaster, one of the original wood roller coasters. And when you ride that roller coaster, you rattle and roll. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Sebastian Janikowski with a couple of field goals sends it to the goal line, and here comes Sproles. Looks for an opening and kicks out of one tackle, chased from behind and brought down at the 37 as uh, 
Spectacular day here in San Diego. And it's a 21-13 lead for the Chargers. So after Sproul's 39-yard kickoff return, open at their own 38, Rivers to throw. Throws underneath and complete to Jackson, leaping high right at the sticks first down. Jackson now with uh, seven catches today, 36 on the season for San Diego. First down near midfield. LT and tailback. Rivers perhaps changing his call, and here comes the blitz. Rivers steps away from it, and then he's going to get hit from behind by Alston. John Alston, the linebacker. It's not a sack. Actually, he was tackled forward for a yard. <laughs> Big DF on his pajamas. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and Tomlinson has wrestled down right at the line of scrimmage. And that'll bring up third and long for Rivers and the Chargers. Well, the Raider defense is really responding and not uh, but taking these blows from San Diego. The good kickoff return and then the pass to Jackson on first down. But then the pass rush on Rivers almost picked up a sack and then keeping LT from getting outside. At Tyvon Branch at 205 pounds with 4 3 speed playing safety all over the field. Number 33 for Oakland. One second on the play clock. The throw is incomplete. And there's Branch covering Antonio Gates. Uh, the punting team out for San Diego. Well, Tom Cable said he's as good as there is in the game. Ball thrown way behind Antonio Gates because of the pressure the Raiders brought Stanford route on that blitz. This time it paid off with an incomplete pass. Well, Johnny Lee Higgins drifts back inside the 10 and Cyphers sends one of those knucklers down to a fair catch at the 17. Russell and the Raiders go to work on offense, and it's Fargus tackled in the backfield by Jacques Césaire. Well, the Raiders, as we watch here late in the third quarter, have uh, had great difficulty of late in beating the Chargers. San Diego with a run of 12 consecutive wins against their rivals from the East Bay. And Tom Cable and his team came down here after an embarrassing 38 nothing loss to the Jets at home last week and they felt this was a chance to make amends and they played very hard and not so well on offense certainly with terrific spirit and that was a false start it appeared to be right tackle Eric Pierce offense, number 69 five yard penalty second yeah. down Khalif Barnes at right tackle uh, the current losing streak against a single team Chargers with 12 in a row over the Raiders Patriots handcuffing the Bills for a dozen and Steelers and Browns have fallen to them 12 straight times. Second and 15 from the 12. 7 and 0 oh is Rivers against the Raiders in his career in the NFL as a starter. And a bunch of his teammates have never lost to this silver and black either. So second and 14 and it's to Fargus and he high kicks his way for about five or six into the arms of Stephen Cooper. Only a four man rush, but they get to Russell from the outside. Steve Gregory, the safety. He had a sack last week on a similar move against Kansas City. Yeah, the quickness of Gregory, the former cornerback playing safety now. He's going to come from this side of the screen here. And the Chargers faking the blitz up the middle. And uh, Zach Miller never saw Steve Gregory. And the result is a sack. Third sack for the Chargers today. 56-yard average on three punts for Leckler, who delivers this one from the goal line. This one's a little shorter. A wobbler to Sproles at the 47. And uh, with his quick feet, able to maneuver into Oakland territory at the 47-yard line. And the Raiders say they've got the fumble and a recovery. There's been no signal by officials. And the officials are saying that uh, right now the ball was out, and it's going to be Raider ball near midfield. They're discussing it right now. There's the turnover the Raiders need.
Sproles and trying to battle for extra yards gives it up at the 47 of the Raiders. Well, let's see if he was down before the ball comes out. Nope, the ball is out before his knee hits the ground. Excellent call by the officials and heads up. Now, who has the ball? It's ripped out there at the bottom by Gary Russell. Oh, he Ball took quite a hit, didn't he? Out. Yeah, he did. Hiram Eugene was the man that forced the fumble. And Fargus and the Raiders go back to work, and uh, not much there for Justin Fargus straight ahead. Denied short of the 50-yard line by Ian Scott. All right, two, two uncharacteristic turnovers today for San Diego. In the first half, sure-handed wide receiver Vincent Jackson let a ball go off his hands. That was picked off by Chris Johnson. And now Darren Sproles with a fumble on a punt return with Chargers. We're going to have great field position. Now the Raiders have got that field position. And it's been turnovers and winning that battle by San Diego that's led to this 12-game winning streak against the rival Raiders. Vargas on the toss. Runs into Alfonso Boone, and then Merriman finishes the work. Brought down by Sean Merriman. Well, you know, players love and respect playing against a guy like Justin Fargus because that he epitomizes what hard-nosed football is all about. And that it, that type of attitude, that type of play, will jack up a player like a Sean Merriman. Third and five at the 40. Eight of San Diego. It's a mixed reaction from the crowd. The Raiders rooting for the defense and the Raider Nation represented. And welcome back. Boy, that'd be a great place to build a new stadium, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's right in that area there. There's all that parking and freeway access. Mass transit. Yeah, that'd be a good spot. Well, Qualcomm's old. They're talking new stadium. Talking. Third and five. Russell into the flat and it's complete to Johnny Lee Higgins and he's got a first down. Needed five. He made six. They're spotting it forward and Eric Weddle's tackled a shade too late. First down. Raiders. Yeah, the Raiders loaded up the one side of the field. In fact, they didn't even send out a receiver on the other side. So Russell just reading to the right side comes off to his outlet receiver, something he's done a couple of times today, showing an improvement. Picking up a huge third down that time. First catch for Higgins today, only his second all season. A big one, first down. Now Michael Bush in a tailback. Russell off play action. Plenty of time. Throws this one up for grabs. Incomplete. And that was close to an interception on the carom. Eric Weddle there on the coverage for San Diego. Well, Weddle should have picked this one off. I mean, the ball was up in the air for about 10 seconds as. Here's Weddle right in the middle. Watch him break on this ball. He mm. just can't bring it in. Tended for Lewis Murphy. Overhanded a little bit, and part of that, the momentum of uh, Murphy himself. Russell trying to make a big play. He's not made any big plays down the field throwing. And second and ten. Screen well called against the blitz. Bush. Knocked down at the 33 yard line, but right at the yardstick, Stephen Cooper with a tackle. All right, Cooper's shaken up after that big hit. I mean, you're hitting a big man in, in uh, Gary Russell there. This is a great call by Cable, the screen to slow down the pass rush. Blockers out in front. And uh, Michael Bush going at 245. Cooper paid for it. Yeah, Cooper is 10 pounds lighter than the man he just brought down. Just short of the first down, third and inches. Fargus in the backfield. And he gets the call, and unless he's broad, and look at that second effort and gets the first down. They had him shy of the first down, and he just kept pounding the, his uh, knees, his leg action, and his determination as a runner to be admired. There's not many that run any hotter than number 25, the Raiders. Any, any run smart. This is a smart run, getting in behind Lawton, just following Lawton. You know, Lawton clears the way just enough and Fargus got low so that he would not be pushed back when he got to the contact. The Raiders have not scored a touchdown in the third quarter 
all season and they've got only seconds to erase that mark. Now here's a little razzle dazzle and it winds up in the hands of Lewis Murphy the former Florida speedster and he's down to the 18 yard line and another Oakland first down. Could be the final play of the third quarter Weddell another tackle and this uh, end of the quarter will really help San Diego because right now they're out of gas. They're running all over the field not being able to find where the uh, Raiders are running the ball. And welcome back with Dan Fouts, Dick Enberg here at Qualcomm Stadium in beautiful San Diego. We go to the fourth quarter with the Chargers leading the Raiders 21-13, but Oakland threatening. Ball at the 18 in San Diego territory and a first down for Jamarcus Russell. And Oakland trying to snap a 12-game losing streak against their rivals here in San Diego. Vargas hit in the backfield. Tremendous penetration by San Diego's Travis Johnson. Johnson acquired in a trade this year in August from Houston. Well, Ron Rivera's got to figure out a way to reverse this type of statistic as the Raiders have got it done on the ground. They've taken advantage of good field position, and San Diego offensively has just not been able to do a thing. This drive starting when Darren Sproles fumbled at the Oakland 47. Johnny Lee Higgins in motion into the right flat. Empty backfield to Marcus Russell throwing into the flat complete to the rookie tight end Brandon Myers. Myers out of bounds short of the first down Quentin Jammer at the corner with the play. And the Iowa Hawkeye with his first catch and a good job of reading the defense. He wanted to throw the slant to Higgins. But the Chargers jumped the slant and left Myers wide open in the flat. All those color coded defensive schemes of Ron Rivera. Let's see what he calls here. Third and eight at the 16 yard line. Vargas in the backfield. They start with three receivers to the left. Three on the play clock. And a flag is down. Lewis Murphy, false start. Five yard penalty. Third down. Murphy claimed he couldn't hear the signal, so if he can't hear, don't move. Look in at the ball. That's all you have to do as a wide receiver. They're told that every day in practice. Here he is right here. He's looking over at Darius Hayward Bay. The ball's on the other side. He ought to be looking inside. That little move by Gregory got him, didn't it? So back to the 21 yard line third and 13 basically a penalty free game Russell in traffic throws underneath and complete to Fargus and Fargus dragged down at the 10 yard line almost got the first down came up a couple of yards shy Stephen Cooper with a tackle and decision time now for Tom Cable as he sends out his field goal team. And Mr. Automatic. He's been good from 48 and 41 yards today. Boy, I don't know about this. I mean, you only need two yards for the first down. The Chargers have not been able to stop Justin Fargus on situations just like this. The holder, Leckler, has a good passing arm, was a quarterback in his youth. But it is the field goal, and Janikowski once again dead center, so he's three for three today. A 21-16 game and Janikowski sends that left foot kickoff down to Sproles. It trickles and he picks it up at the five yard line and then smothered at the eight. He had to be tempted about letting it roll to see if it go out of bounds and get the 40. November 1st in San Diego cooling off in the fountains at Balboa Park. Downtown San Diego, one of the great city parks in the world. Eight yard line of Sproles. Handling that bouncing kickoff and now Rivers throwing up field incomplete and well covered on the sidelines was Anto Chris Chambers. Chris Chambers and uh, Branch was right there with him. And of course, they, because of the time change, uh, moving uh, back an hour to a later day than normal. Rivers throws way over the head of Vincent Jackson and suddenly all going uh, awry for the Charger offense and the Raider defense tightening the vice. 
Let's go back to the uh, Gates incompletion. And you'll see as he's running down the field, he's even trying to shield his eyes. And the ball just sails right over his head. He just says, I couldn't see where the ball was. Philip. Yeah, it's over there on the west side. After a nine for nine second quarter, River Sense is one for six and only 11 yards. Rivers with pressure from behind throws complete to Chris Chambers and he was looking into that sun and makes a tough catch in front of the all pro Nam the awesome and that's just what Chris Chambers needed too. he was benched this week Malcolm Floyd started a fantastic catch looking right back into the sun. Great coverage by awesome that had to be a perfect throw and a tenacious catch for 20 yards. Tomlinson, only a yard on the play. Desmond Bryant, the rookie from Harvard, made the tackle. Second and nine, play action. Rivers to the sideline. No sun problems there for Vincent Jackson. And a first down in front of Stanford Route. Boy, the Chargers offensive line is answering the challenge of the Raider pass rush. Rivers on a little play action pass here. Gets back deep, nobody in his face. He got a nice throwing lane to the 6'5 Jackson, and it's another first down for San Diego as they're starting to get back in sync, back in rhythm. Eight catches now for Jackson today. He's over the 100 yard mark, 103. First down at the 43, and Sproles now in a tailback. Finds a little room on the right wing. He's into Oakland territory and near another first down before Greg Ellis, the veteran defensive end, can chase him down. Another up. Thank you, JB. The Titans trying to finally get that elusive first win on the season. Mike Tolbert with a carry on second and short. He wedges forward a first down to the 45. Yeah, it used to be when you get to those second and short plays, you would go a little play action pass and throw a deep one, but North Turner's of the belief that you can pick up the first down when you can, and that gets you back on your normal schedule of play calling. First and ten, you have more plays on first and ten to choose from, and that's what Norv has decided to do there. North Turner banned from trick or treat uh, presents last night by his wife. Flagged down for Danny Tomlinson's stuff. He uh, he once uh, had the job of giving the candy to the kids, knocking on the door, and everyone came Outside. home. Defense number 51 lined up in the neutral zone. Five yard penalty, first down. His wife came home, said, Where's all the candy? So I've been giving it to the kids. Two handfuls apiece. Boy, did they love that uh, door in the neighborhood. Yeah, but you run out of candy too quickly. Oh boy. John Alston, 55, right above the uh, down marker here as, as the circle goes crazy. He's about a foot off sides. Stanford guy being off sides. That's not right. He was at a Stanford graduate and a Stanford in the secondary and Stanford route. First and five, fake to LT. Rivers looking, looking, and throwing. Ooh, what a hit as Gates holds on and absorbs a big pop from Tyvon Branch. This That's is man against man. This was an unbalanced line by the Chargers. So Gates is lined up right here next to the uh, guard. The other tackle is over here. Now it's a bootleg, and Gates has got to run away from Ty Von Branch. Great throw by Rivers because Branch had his back to the quarterback, never saw that bullet go over his shoulder. Actually, it was Michael Huff who made the hit. 14 yard gain for Gates. Chargers with a slim five point lead. LT down to his number 21. This is an example of the Chargers belief in their head coach and his play calling and game planning abilities. Chargers backed up had not done anything here in the second half when they needed it most they get a fantastic catch from Chris Chambers that gets them back in rhythm back in sync and now they appear to be unstoppable as North continues to dial up the right call. Tomlinson, in case you're curious, uh, 38 yards on 16 carries, so only a two yard average, but to his magical in the end zone, two touchdowns for LT. Tomlinson. 
Robinson. Caught by the jersey and battles forward and close to a first down. Tommy Kelly using the 300 pounds to pull Tomlinson back. See where they mark it. That was really a determined and tough run by Tomlinson. It appeared that he was stopped about two or three yards short of where he eventually landed and now bringing up a third down and short for San Diego. A lot of options for Rivers as Kading waits his chances. He doesn't want to go for a three. That would leave the Raiders within a touchdown two point conversion of a tie. Third and short. Tomlinson following blockers now sprints into the clear to the corner and out of bounds at the two and uh, bumped into the wall down in that corner. Remember we talked about the Chargers struggles in goal line and short yarded situations. Well LT as he's slipping back to the sidelines here uses great patience to set up Chris Dealman's block. Dealman coming on the pull of the power play. LT sliding to the outside picks up a gigantic first down before Thomas Howard can push him out of about out of bounds. Great patience by LT. 13 yards the longest run and there is a false start. As Chris Wilson. Offense number 86. Five yard. Manam Maliuna on the near side leap forward and so instead of first and goal at the three it'll make it a little tougher as they move it back to the eight. This is twice today that number 86 has moved early. Actually, it was Wilson, the tight end, lined up inside. Actually, it was not Wilson either. It was Jerem Jeremy Clary as the Chargers went with that unbalanced line again to get more beef on the right side. So first and goal, eight yard line, Sproles in. Sproles up the middle and runs into Iron Gate there. Tommy Kelly with uh, Morrison to back it up. And this is one of the strengths of the Raiders in a disappointing season of two and five. Their goal line and red zone defense has been well above par on the league. And part of that is having a corner like Asamoah and uh, Chris Johnson. Both are over six feet. So they almost automatically take away the fade route with their height. They're number seven in the league in red zone defense. Number nine in goal line defense Oakland. Rivers. Caught from behind the sack to the rookie Matt Shaughnessy who's had a terrific game. It's his first NFL sack. 6'5 and 270 the third round pick former Badger. And here he is right here working against number 66 again it's Clary coming out and that's just too much speed Clary get beat right off the get go here as Shaughnessy shows great closing speed. Now third and goal just inside the 10 the 14th play of this drive. Comes the blitz Rivers just does get it away. Incomplete Jackson with Huff knocking it away. Now this is why number 24 was picked number one back in 06 out of Texas. Great timing Jackson on the corner route. Man to man with Huff. Ball slightly underthrown and a great job of getting that left hand in there by Michael Huff. And so out comes Kading for a short field goal, 27 yards to give San Diego an eight point advantage. And Kading drives it through. Kading to Jonathan Holland. Remember Holland at the end of the first half had a Sterling 60 yard return. Former sprint champion. And he's dragged down. And again, it's Mike Tolbert in on the play. That last drive by San Diego consumed seven minutes and 55 seconds. 83 yards. He had first and goal in the three and had to settle for the 28 yard field goal. And now Jamarcus Russell. Here's his chance to make amends. Terrible game last week. Three turnovers in the first quarter against the Jets and a 38 to nothing grubbing. He has a chance now to rally his team. He needs a touchdown and a two point conversion. And Justin Vargas pays the price. Pro Marty comes up from the corner to knock him down after a short game. Well, in the first half, Russell was four out of eight for just 24 yards. He's now seven of eight in the second half, but again, for just a, a that's 48 yards now for Russell. So 
inability to get the ball down the field is just uh, killing the Raider passing game. Second down and eight. Lewis Murphy blazing speed to the left. Fargus in the backfield. Haywood Bay even faster over on the right side. Then the throw underneath is complete to the tight end, Zach Miller. And a first down at the 42. Weddle, the tackler. Now, third catch of the uh, game for Zach Miller as we take a look at this play from the blimp. Here's Miller right here, right down the middle of the field. And Russell with a strike in front of Weddle there. Big play by the Raiders. <laughs> Great coverage from our blimp today. 15 yard gain for Oakland. And a first down at the 43. Eight points to tie. Plenty of time. Three and a half minutes to go. And all three timeouts. Two, two timeouts. And off to Fargus. Look at him. Second effort, third effort. And finally dragged down at the 47 yard line by Eric Weddle. Well, you really, there's nothing much you can say about or describe. Just watch. Mm. Just breaking tackles. As you said, Dick, those knees, legs never stop driving. He's got great balance and above all else, great desire. 18 carries, 59 yards for Fargus and the touchdown. Now Michael Bush in the backfield behind Russell. Russell chased out of the pocket. Now he throws to the far sidelines, throws it away. Johnny Lee Higgins was down there, but Russell running out of time. Alfonso Boone was chasing him, the big 300 pound tackle. Real gut check time for both these ball clubs. Hands on hips. Both teams are playing to the point of exhaustion right now. Raiders just sent out three receivers on that play. All three were covered. Russell with a good decision to throw it away. You saw the AFC West standings with the Broncos losing their first game. The winner today gains a full game on uh, the AFC West leaders, Denver. Third down. Oh, my. Russell hit as he throws. Is it a catch? No, just out of bounds. Lewis Murphy a fine catch as Russell a terrific throw considering he was taking a hit by Sean Phillips Brandon Seiler Check it out was his feet One foot in one foot out good call by the official great effort on both ends as Russell hangs in taking that hit and then uh, the effort by Murphy to pull it in Play big, clock big. running down here, fourth down. Six, five on the play clock. He's got a hurry here on fourth down. Two, one, doesn't get it off. Did he call time? Yes. Second, charge time out, Oakland. And for the Raiders, they have one remaining. As you can see, the yellow bars above the Oakland and San Diego names indicating time outs remaining. Fourth down and seven quarterback Fouts. Yeah, I like the way that they've gotten Zach Miller over the middle on this drive. Miller is going to probably be double teamed by San Diego because San Diego doesn't think that the wide receivers of the Raiders can get open. They haven't really proven that much today. In fact, uh, they've been a non-factor in the passing game. But don't forget about Russell. He has improved in just one week. Going to his check down receivers, Justin Fargus and, and Johnny Lee Higgins at one time. Oh, that's a little crazy, but in this situation when you're two and five, everyone looking for the short pass, why not go for a long throw and try to tie it up right here, even though it is fourth down? Let's see what Russell has in mind. He throws underneath, complete to Miller. Well, that's why you're in Canton, Ohio, and I'm going back to the farm in Michigan. <laughs> Cooper well, made the tackle first down to Miller. I like the guy that wore number 80 for me Kellen Winslow very similar type of player You know this type of guy Zach Miller or Kellen Winslow. They want the ball in that situation
Norv Turner back up quarterback to Dan Fouts at the University of Oregon. Those two gentlemen did a lot of screaming last night. It was very positive as well. That was a big Ducks win. And another man who was screaming was the defensive coordinator for Tom Cable, John Marshall, who just happened to be Norv Turner's head coach as a freshman in Oregon. Oh, yeah. And he was my head coach as a freshman in Oregon as well. Enough of you, Ducks. Quack, quack. <laughs> All right. Two minutes to go. One timeout for the Raiders. They trail by eight. Need a touchdown and the two point conversion. Russell hasn't thrown long very often. He fumbles the ball. It's free, and the Raiders recover. John Phillips. Sean Phillips forced the ball free, and Khalif Barnes was able to fall on the loose ball. Clock is running. Great pressure by Sean Phillips. Is he just would not be denied on the pass rush. Got into the face of Jamarcus Russell. Look at them standing around with no timeouts. Plenty of time. They're waiting for the next play from Tom Cable. Phillips with the second sack. That's two sack games back to back for him. 13 yards, the loss in the play. Now from his own end, Russell throws underneath. Incomplete, intended for Hayward Bay, but a flag down. Ball start. Offense number 69. And it compounds itself with a false start. Second down. So the Raiders struggling to get downfield to tie the game. There was an announcement made uh, by referee Terry McCauley, but uh, muddled uh, his microphone. Something about a clock mal mal malfunction. And uh, he's going to come over now to the replay booth. And what they're going to do, because of the penalty, it killed the play, so there was no play. But they're going to go back another play to do the sack and the fumble to see if that's an incomplete pass. Nope, that's a fumble. Now the question is, boy, I tell you what, if Jacques Cesaire <laughs> had any hands at all, he might have picked this one off or recovered the fumble because the ball is in the air right there. He can't pick it up. I think old Jacques was looking at the goal line there and said, oh, I'm pretty clear sailing if I catch it. Well, that's a tough uh, situation there. The arm going forward. The ball did go forward. This might be ruled an incomplete pass. This review coming from upstairs. This is not a challenge. But it's a booth review. And a huge, huge booth review. Well, if it's this an wipes out the five-yard penalty as well. And so that would be 13 plus five. be 18-yard gain if this is ruled an incomplete pass 18 to the Raiders and the ball would be on the Charger 44 yard line which gives the Raiders an excellent shot to get down the field and get in the end zone especially with the big arm of Jamarcus Russell call on the field was fumble after review the ruling on the field stands second down so the ball stays at the 38 of the Raiders the clock an issue now only 78 seconds left one timeout for Oakland and I'm sure North Turner is telling Terry McCauley good call the Raiders need to get to the San Diego 34 for a first down and they do have one timeout plenty of speed at wide receiver spread formation Russell steps up and he's dropped. Merriman has his second sack. So the two frustrated pass rushers for San Diego, Phillips and Merriman, each with two today. Final timeout, Tom Cable. He wanted to go long, needed to go long. Well, Johnny Lee Higgins and Lewis Murphy ran into each other on this play. This is why there was nobody for Jamarcus Russell to throw the ball to. Oh, my goodness. I mean, if that doesn't tell the story of two young receivers frustrating their quarterback and then Merriman with a great move to pick up the sack, but you've got three wide receivers out in the game and two of them are laying on the ground. I've seen a lot of replays. That, that one was unique. Have you ever seen that before? In a Keystone Cops movie, maybe. And these young guys are learning progress and work, both very talented, and 
Of course, a little bump by Gregory. And uh, Quentin Jammer, true to his surname on that play. So third down and plenty from the 35, 31 yards for a first down. Throwing under pressure into the flat. It's complete for short yardage to Miller. And Miller finally knocked out of bounds by Jammer. And so fourth down. And they need to go again to the 34 yard line. The Raiders to have a first down. This is almost the uh, end of the game. Wind up and throw it as far as you can. Hope you'll get a lucky catch or deflection. Yeah, also looking for interference. I'm not sure that they're going to throw the Hail Mary just yet, but it wouldn't be a bad idea. But they're sending two receivers to the far side plus the tight end, Zach Miller. Good time for Russell over the middle and there's a attempted pass and lateral and uh, incomplete. They're going to rule the pass incomplete. Johnny Lee Higgins caught it kind of and uh, shovel passed it back hoping it, it would work as a lateral Darius Hayward Bay. Well they had all the elements right there. The, the holding penalty against the Raiders has declined but Higgins has got to catch this ball first. He's trying to volleyball the ball to Darius Hayward Bay but the ball's right in his hands a perfect throw by Russell but catch it first and then lateral it. Siler is there to uh, mess up the play for the Raiders and this will go down as win number 13 in a row for San Diego. He's got to catch the ball but he's in midair you got to come down with the ball in your possession unless you make a perfect de deflection lateral back to your teammate so it's just a matter of a kneel down for Rivers actually two plays and this game will be history but for an overwhelming favorite the San Diego Chargers coming into this game against a team that lost 38 to nothing last week terrific effort from Tom Cable's team especially defensively in defeat and holding the Chargers to only a field goal in the second half so with a win by San Diego they move within two games of the Denver Broncos and the Chargers have a visit in the, the Big Apple against the New York Giants next Sunday the Raiders uh, much needed by they've got a lot of injuries that should heal including Darren McFadden and then they'll uh, meet Kansas City and Cincinnati a couple of home games.